Hello everyone, this video covers section 7.4, confidence intervals for um, sigma square. So this is the last parameter we are going to be doing in section 7.1, so just to refresh your memory. So when it comes to confidence interval, in 7.1 we talk about mu, in 7.2 we also talk about mu, and in 7.3 we talk about the proportion. So now we're going to talk about sigma square. Now, remember in 7.1, we use um, either Z or T. This one, we use Z. And now we're going to use chi square, which is a new, new friend we have. The process is the same. You're going to add and subtract something. But you have to be careful because these three are symmetrical. Well, this one is not, and it will be clear in a little bit what I mean by symmetrical. Now, the way you find the, these values is going to be very, very similar to the way you found the T values, except that this is not symmetrical, and in a little bit, it will make sense what it is symmetrical. So first, look to the chi-square table. If you don't have it downloaded from the Canvas page. And it should look something like like this. Okay, this is the chi square table. As you can see, this is very similar to the t table. You have the degrees of freedom, same as the t table, and it has these values. Except that the t table only have these values, while chi square has more, and you will see why they are needed in a second. So therefore, to read it is very similar to the D-table. For example, let's say that you want to find chi-square of 0 0.025. Again, remember this is going to be alpha or alpha over 2, depending on the problem. This is the degrees of freedom, which in this case is 16, which means that n was 17, exactly the same thing as before. Okay, so then look to 16 degrees of freedom. So 16 is here. So the answer has to be on this line. The value for alpha over 2 is 0 0.025, which is this value right here. So therefore, the answer is 28.845. So this is equals to 28.845. A four five. The difference though is that this is what we want to call chi square right, and the reason why is because this is not symmetrical. So you can see that this is not symmetrical. Negative numbers don't even exist. So this is what I mean by symmetrical. Remember in chapter uh, seven point one, seven point two, and seven point three. Let's say that this number is 1.96, so automatically the left side is minus 1.96. So you could even say this is Z, the right side, and Z, the left side, is automatically the same. This is also true for the T table. Let's say we use the T table and this value is uh, 4.032. Well, then this one automatically is minus 0.4032. This is why it was so easy to do the confidence in section 7.1, 7 7.2, 7 7.3, because the left side and the right side are pretty much the same, just a sign difference. Here, that's not the case, and the reason is because chi-square doesn't even have negative value. So therefore, you have to be very careful. You always find the right side first, same thing you did when you found the T values, but now to find the left side, this is going to be chi square of 0.975. And this value plus this one has to add to 1. So you do the right side first. So this is what will be given on the problem. If you do 1 minus this, it will give you this. So that's how you find the left side. The degrees of freedom don't change. Stay exactly the same. In this case, it's 16. Then if we look to the table, the value is 6.908.
as you can see here. So this volume is 9.08. And that's how you find the left side. All right, let's try one more. Here, the degrees of freedom is 10. The value for alpha or alpha over 2 is 0 0.05. So you have 10 degrees of freedom, which is this one. Then if you look to 0 0.05, with this value here, which is 18.307. So therefore the answer is 18.307. Remember that this is chi square rai, so it's very, very important that you label them. Uh, to find chi square left, this is gonna be chi square of 0.95. Again, remember the this value, this one has to add to one. So that's how you find the left side. And the degrees of freedom stay the same. So you look to the table, this is equals to 3.94, which comes from here. So it will be 3.940. As I mentioned in section 7.2, for the purpose of this section, all you need to know is how to find the right side and the left side. That's all you need for section 7.4. However, these values are going to be used a lot in chapter 8, chapter 9, and even chapter 10. So this means that you need to understand that these two values actually means this. You have zero there. That's why this is not symmetrical. The left side is here, so this will be chi squared left. And the right side is this one, 18.307. And this area and this one are the same. So that's what this left and right side business means. So this area is 0 0.05, and so is this one. Okay. Again, for now, all you need to know is how to find the left side and the right side, but you need to be aware that this implies this graph, and this graph is going to be very, very important very soon. All right, so let's do one more. So from here, uh, you have six degrees of freedom, which is here, and the value for alpha is point. Uh, 005 so that means it will be the the last one so it will be 18.548 so this will be 18.54 a and again remember this is the the right side and then you want to find the left side it will be chi square of 0 0.995 with six degrees of freedom which will be this one, 0.676. By the way, in case you haven't noticed, um, this is how you can find the right and the left side pretty quickly. If this is the right side, this will be the left side. If this is the right side, you can see that this one will be the left side and so forth. So they are symmetrical in the table, so it should be pretty easy to find it that way. All right, once you know how to find the left side and the right side, then now you can find the confidence interval for this one, which clearly, as you can see, is going to use chi-square star. So let's do an example of that. All right, so this is the process. Just like section 7.1, 2, and 3, First, you divide alpha by 2, so this is not new. And then the first step, you find the right side, which I just showed you how to do. Once you find the left, the right side, find the left side. Remember, it will be 1 minus alpha over 2. Remember that this value and this one has to add to 1. And then finally, just plug it into the, the formula. There is no plus or minus here because they are not symmetrical. So just plug it in. And that's it. All right, so let's do one example. 
So here it says use the following data to find a 95%. Remember 95% means that alpha is 0 0.05, just like section 7.1, 2, and 3. And clearly this is telling you find a confidence interval for the standard deviation. So it's not talking about mu and it's definitely not talking about p. So therefore it has to be something else. All right, so this is the information you have. Alpha is 0 0.05. S is 7 and N is equals to 21. All right, so step one, alpha divided by 2, it will be 0 0.025. So that's not new. And then from here, the first thing we need to find is chi square rai. Chi square rai is going to be chi square of 0 0.025. The degrees of freedom, remember, is equals to N minus 1. In this case, n is 20, so that means the degrees of freedom is, sorry, n is 21, so the degrees of freedom is 20. So if you look to the table, this is 34.170. And that's it. So that's how you find the right side. Well, what about the left side? So chi square left is going to be chi square of 0.975. Remember that this value plus this one has to add to 1. So that's how you find the left side. And the, the degrees of freedom don't change. So therefore, this is equals to 9.591. So that's a step 1. Step 2, this only has 3 steps. Then step 3, you have to plug it into this equation. Let me write it one more time. Chi square y less than sigma square less than n minus 1 is square over chi square left. All right, so just plug in the, the values. n is 20, so t uh, 21. So 21 minus 1 is 20, so this is 20, times uh, s, which is 7 square, divided by chi square y, which is 34.17, less than sigma square, less than 20 times 7 square and everything divided by 9.591 okay all right so then this is the same thing as 20 times 49 divided by 34.170 less than sigma square less than 20 times 49 divided by 9.591 once you simplify everything, you end up with 28.68. If you run it to two places, and this is uh, 102.179. Now, if the question is asking you to find a confidence for the variance, once you get to this point, you are done. But the question is actually asking a confidence interval for the standard deviation. Remember that the standard deviation is the square root of the variance, so you have to take the square root of this. So from here, you get 5.35, it's less than sigma, less than 10.1. So this is the 95% confidence interval for sigma, which is the standard deviation. And that's it. The last thing you always need to do for these problems is explain what this means remember the explanation is that you are 95 percent sure that the standard deviation is between 5.3 and 10.1 all right let's do one last example this is the same uh data from example two i think from section 7.2 uh remember the x bar was equals to 5.83 and the standard deviation was 1.7 and it's 6 because you have 6 numbers here uh, but now alpha is 0 0.01 because you want a 99% confidence interval All right so step 1 alpha divided by 2 is equals to 0 0.005 so therefore if you want to find chi square rai this will be chi square of 0 0.005 
with five degrees of freedom. Remember the degrees of freedom is n minus one. If you look to the table, let me do this one more time. Uh, remember we have five degrees of freedom. So it's this line right here. And the value for uh, alpha over two is 0 0.005, which is this one. So therefore the answer is 16.750. So that's the right side. So it will be 16. Point seven five zero. Then find the left side for step two. Uh, remember, chi squared left is chi squared of point nine nine five with five degrees of freedom, which equals to point four one two. All right. So then for step three. Just plug it into the formula. Uh, the formula remembers m minus one s square over chi square right less than sigma square less than n minus one times s square divided by chi square left. So if we plug this in, you end up with phi times 1.7 square divided by 16.70 750 this is sigma square less than phi times 1.7 square and then this is 0.412 notice that when you plug this into the formula the right side is actually on the left side and the left side is on the right side once you simplify everything, this will give you 0.8627 less than sigma square less than 35.07. This time you don't have to take the square root because the question is asking for a confidence for the the variance. See, so it says find a confidence for the variance. So therefore, once you get here, you you're done. And then explain if necessary. That's it. So that's it for 7.4 and that's it for chapter 7.